What's good with Joe? It's your boy Santo G. Back at it. You already know. Spreading unity, prosperity, and respect. Above all, if you're new here, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Tap that notification bell. That way you're notified when I drop future content. So today, I just wanted to talk about overcoming my addiction. I wanted to share a couple of stories with you guys. Uh... The stuff that I did, that I've done, pretty much just to feed my addiction, how close I came to pretty much losing my life on various times, man, on various occasions. So, I also wanted to just show you guys, I still have my own prescription of Suboxone. Till this day, I'm still on Suboxone. So, if I could do it, you can do it. It's a process, but it can happen, man. Let me share a couple of stories with you guys. So you guys could see how far gone I was. And how I was able to bring it back. Have a full-time job. Provide for my family. Was able to kick it. And I'm still on some boxing, so you can see it's still a struggle. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's going to get off just from one day to the next. You're going to be clean and sober. But at least I'm not out there buying no pills that probably lace with fentanyl. More than likely are laced with fentanyl. And all it takes is taking the wrong pill with the wrong dose. And that's it. Your life is over. You know what I'm saying? It just hit close to home. I'm going to share a picture right here with you guys, man. Rest in peace, this young man right here. This is my 17-year-old friend. Passed away from a, a fentanyl overdose. You know what I mean? So, it touches home. Close to home. That's why I wanted to do this video, man. Because recovery is possible. A lot of people don't talk about it, but it's possible. I'm a living proof. You know I me? Mean? I got scars. I'm talking about I got scars from shooting up. And I'm just being real and raw with you guys, man. I ain't never even admitted this to my own family, to my wife. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real and transparent with you guys, man. I went to the point where I was in prison. Red flagged. Red flagged. Anybody that doesn't know what that means... If you owe over $200 to somebody, you get red flagged. And nobody can sell you no more dope. So I was red flagged. Still getting high. And when you're red flagged in prison, this was in Sentinela. Anybody that's been in Sentinela, you know the homies don't play with that. So when you're red flagged in prison, what you do is every yard... Every yard, it doesn't matter if it's cold as hell, if it's hot as hell. Every yard, as soon as you go out to yard, you go and you work out. You do a shoe routine. I'm talking about all yard, two, three hours of nothing but working out. It's like a punishment that the homies give you so you could pay. So you could stop and pay. Man, I was to the point that I'll fucking... Boom, high as fuck out there doing my workout. I was on the red flag list for like four months. Four months. And it wasn't that I couldn't pay. It was all the money I was getting was going to feed my habit. You know what I'm saying? Got out. Started popping pills. Started popping the perks. The M30s. Started getting them a thousand at a time, selling them, popping them. It got to the point that I'll pop one, crush one, throw it in a pipe, smoke, not out. It was bad. I was bad. You know, I was bad. And July of 2021, I got tired of it. I was going to work. I was making money. I was doing good. You know what I mean? It's not like if I was uh, 
non-functioning non addict. I was functioning, going to work, doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? We still in our apartment till this day, you know what I mean? So, I was doing good, money-wise, you know what I'm saying? That's how I was able to keep feeding my habit. Like I said, I was working a job, I was selling pills, I was doing my thing. We had just moved into this apartment, and I just got tired of it. I woke up one day and I called my mom, like, hey, like, I'm tired of this. Take me to the hospital. She took me to the hospital. You know what I mean? I ended up going to the Long Beach Medical Center. Long Beach College Medical Center. They had the best detox center. At least my interaction with them, man, you go in there, gave me a Suboxone. I was like, man, it's not working. Gave me another one. I took like three Suboxins before I was able to just, shh. the pain went away. And they got me a room. They were able to let me keep my phone. Just right there watching Netflix, YouTube. And they were constantly coming, you know? They give you food. You have a bed. They give you food. You're able to have your phone. You know what I'm saying? And they give you medication to help you with your pain. So anybody, man, if you guys are dealing with that right now, you guys are addicted, you feel like you need help, go to the Long Beach College Medical Center, man, and check into their detox. They're going to make sure you're good. You're going to have a bed. You're going to have food. And you keep your phone or they have a TV right there, man. Get your life together. If I can do it, somebody that was heavily, and I mean heavily addicted. If I'm doing that, I'm red flagged to the point if any homie would have told on me that I was still getting high, I would have been blasted and gone. Straight up. For four months I did that. Talking about right before I went out, I would get high and then go. Straight shoe workout. If I'm lying... I'm dying, man. I've been through so much stuff. And if I could get clean, if I could get out of that, you can too. You can too, man. Best believe you can. You know what I'm saying? That's not cool. It's not cool, man. I look back on it and I be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? The stuff I put my kids through, the stuff I put my wife through not cool and right now because you're under the influence and your body's hurting it gets to the point where it's like you're not even getting high because it's fun you're getting high because your body hurts you're getting high to get up out of bed i know i've been there but you can do it you can get out of that you know what i'm saying especially now they got some boxing you know what i'm saying and it helps. It helps with the pain. I've been on it for where this was 2021. Damn, it's already going to be three years. In July of this year of 2024, it'll be three years that your boy has been clean and sober. Man, that's beautiful. To be able to say that is beautiful. If I can do it, you can do it, man. I just wanted to share a little testimony with y'all. Hope this helps you guys, man, and gives you another perspective of life. Like I said, everything I'm saying in this video, I'm just sharing my heart, bearing my soul out to you guys, man. So hopefully it touches you guys. All real, all raw, and all uncut, man. I'm telling you guys stories and stuff that I've never told nobody in my life. That's why I'm saying this is my testimony. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you guys for watching. Shout out Killer Kush. Shout out Cali Herbs Los Angeles. More importantly, shout out y'all, man. Stay motivated. Stay blessed. If I could do it, you can do it, man. Unity, prosperity, and respect. Above all.